last words? Kill yourself. <laughs> See you in hell. I ever did I put on myself and it was the letters FCW which means the world um, it was on my leg and has since been covered up however it was pretty good for a pocket knife tattoo the lines were straight and it was black as I, said, I wish I could get stuff that black now bring a pocket knife in. my name is Brandon Bond. I'm the owner of All or Nothing Tattoo Studio here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we've been uh, incredibly fortunate. We are the most published and award-winning studio in the history of tattooing. And we've done it in only five short years. It's pretty intense, for sure. We, we don't f around here. So all, all these bowling trophies, that's what they're from. They're from conventions. The garage full, everybody's got them at their house. Even our bathroom is covered <laughs> in awards. It's crazy. <laughs> we put my Artist of the Year award right here next to the crapper. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty crazy. We're literally, literally out of room, but it's a good problem to have, I think, you know. Once you locate a clean studio with a dope ass artist that you trust, that's when it's time to put your trust in his hands and to say, okay, here's kind of a loose idea of what I want, like maybe a theme or a, like a thematic focus. Instead of being like, I want this and this and this with initials in it, and I want this with cloud rays, and if I pay somebody, I want them to know what they're doing. I don't want to have to tell them what to do. Now, we do cater to all people. If somebody comes in and, you know, their art friend, drew up some crap and they want it just like that, we will do it and we'll do it happily and we'll make it as, as awesome as we can for that type of imagery. One of my companies is a pit bull rescue company and that's something that's very near and dear to my heart. We do a lot of charity work in general and the pit bull rescue is the main, the main charitable thing that we do for our community and, and for the world just because I love pit bull dogs and they are the underdog. Um, they're being euthanized at an alarming rate right now and uh, in many cases they're euthanized like before the owner even has a chance to pick them up from animal control. In my life I am the underdog. I'm the, I'm, I'm the working man. I am the young shitbag degenerate that everyone hated. I can relate with pit bulls on a way that, that I think a lot of tattoo people can. That is my stress relief. I also shoot guns a lot. And we catch a lot of shit for that, like, oh, guns, 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 you know? No, we're not trying to act tough or macho, and it's not because we have small <laughs> Truth is, my staff, my family, my parents, my wife, all of us enjoy shooting. It's, uh, it's fun to do. It's a hobby, like quilting, you know? I think people got the wrong idea because a lot of the early articles, and there was, there was magazine covers of me, like, with AKs on the front, and... I think people got the wrong idea. We were just having fun and, and hanging out. That's all that was. Well, I'm wearing one right now, though. It, uh, which is totally legal in the state of Georgia. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's, it's actually, I got this weapon from a cop. It was his ankle holster for years, and he uh, tipped it to me for a tattoo. So I carry it. It's lucky. And in Georgia, it's only $36 for a carry permit. For Christ's sake, get one. Pushing the boundaries pushing the limitations. Um, you know, a lot of, of the, the work that I do at the time it was done back in the day was very innovative. Now it's not, because everybody in the world is doing that same shit. So you could go to anybody for that now. Hell, my guys are better at it than I am. I'd like to take something and 
push it to the next level or I don't really want to do it. If it's not hard, if it's not challenging, I don't want to f*** with it, you know? Because most of my clients are the dopest people in the world and they're just like, here's a big stack of money, you do whatever you want, go. You know? And I'm very grateful for that because it allows for an awful lot of freedom which leads to innovation and growth. I prefer it the other way though. I'd rather just have a blank canvas and when a client comes to me, I'll lay out three or four ideas that I know will make solid tattoos. I have a, a secret file that I keep of, of all the shit I'm going to do in 09 and everything, you know? And I'll just pick out three or four of them and be like, take your pick, I'm doing all four on somebody, which one's you, you know? Um, which is exciting for the client too, because then of course we destroy it, throw it away, it doesn't exist anywhere except for on that person. In a way it kind of sucks though, because all my clients and all the, the clients here have way doper tattoos than I got. I got a lot of tattoos before I was even 21, so I ate up a lot of space on crap. So I see these clients leaving with this dope, like glowing shit that doesn't even look real. And I'm like, motherfucker, man, you know. If, you know, if you're stagnant, as an artist, you become your own cover band. You, you become your own worst enemy. You're limited by, by where you're at. And there's nothing more frustrating than stagnation to an artist. Stagnation is life on pause. Stagnation is, is not existing. If we're not growing, we're, we're not doing anything in art. And I believe that, and my staff believes that, and we push each other very hard all the time artistically. Because let's be honest, we're not cured cancer, we're doing tattoos. We might as well do good ones, right? We might as well make them dope. Hello, I'm Brandon Bond, and Atlanta's my backyard.